Welcome to the VM0003 demo presented by Erica Nguyen and Xavier Jones for OCSIA in collaboration with Alcott IO. In this presentation, we'll be going over what is VM003 very briefly, go through a demo video, and then share our developed results. What is VM0003? It is a VARA methodology that increases carbon stock by extending forest rotation age. Its primary purpose is to incentivize forest protection for overlogging, prevent carbon emissions from logging activities, and promotes carbon sequestration. There are, some also, there are also some additional benefits, including biodiversity conservation, regu water regulation, soil protection, and community livelihood, livelihood for support. Here we will go into a video demo. First, we will create a new user and that new user will be the project proponent. So here, while we can choose roles, we're going to put project proponent and click next. Once the project proponent is created and loads, we can then click on the new project button and create a new project description. First, I will put in this test example data. Here you can see all the things for the project description, and then it will go into the monitor again. As you can see here, here is the VCS non-permits risk, non risk report. It will need to be uploaded as an image. After that, we will get to the baseline emissions. I have some mock data on the side here on Excel spreadsheet for reference, and I will just simply enter in all of the data that I have on the side. Now we've gotten to the project proponent, I'm sorry, the project scenario. And so we'll be doing the same thing and entering in all of the non-auto calculated data. After that, we'll have to enter in the VCU calculations, which include total THC emissions and so on and so forth. Afterwards, you'll have to enter in tool, zero, zero, tool zero 01 that's already available in the GitHub. And you can see how all the instructions and key features. Afterwards, it's tool zero zero 003 where we've included instructions on how to calculate and also a schema so that you can follow for reference. And then lastly is tool 04, where we've also included a schema and is also available on GitHub with the instructions. So here I'm just going to leave the example data and press create. Once the PPD has been created, you can see here that it's saying it's waiting to be added. And you can also view the document that you just had. You can also revoke it, but we're here just going to click View Document. And if you compare the VCU calculations at the very end, the map numbers should match. Here I have 1629 and 1629. So we can verify that the calculations are matching up. Now we're going to close this out and go back to Administrator, which is going to be Vera. We'll click Project Pipeline and see that it is waiting to be added. So now it says Waiting for Validation. And once that loads, we can go back to creating a new user because now it needs to be approved by the VBB. So now we're going to create a new user and save that role as VBD. Click next.
And for instructional purposes, I will just be naming this BB. Click Create. As you can see, it says waiting for approval. So we'll go back into the, the, the administrator account. Under approved PBB, we should see the new PBB being populated. And here you can either reject or approve. So we're just going to click approve. And you can see here that it's saying waiting for approval. But then after it loads, it should say approve. Now we're going to go back into virtual user one, which is going to be the project proponent. And we'll be able to assign the BBB that we just created. Once it's done spinning, we can go back into the BBB and you will be able to see that the BBB has been assigned to this project. If you click on projects, the new project is there and it's available to view the same documents and reject or validate. Here we're going to click validate. It's going to refresh and load. And if you click on it, you'll see that it's validated. Now we'll be able to create a monitoring report. So we're going to go back into the project proponent as virtual user one. And under projects, once this loads, you'll be able to see that you can add a new, a new report. So we're going to click on add report. And we're going to enter in the same example data report. I'm going to scroll all the way down so that we can enter in the same mock data. And for demonstration purposes, I'll just be entering in the same numbers. Press create. And once it's done refreshing, if you click on monitoring reports, you should be able to see the new monitoring report. It says waiting for verification for this new monitoring report. So we'll go into the BBB as virtual user two. And under monitoring reports, you should see the new monitoring report that we had just created. It says waiting for verification. You can either view the document We scroll all the way to the bottom and we can see that 
DVC calculations are as suspected, 1629 on each side, and we can verify. It should refresh and say that it is now verified. So now we can go into the Vera account as administrator. Click on monitoring reports. It says verified. All that's left to do is have Vera view the document or mint. We're gonna click mint. And as you can see, now the status says minting, and at the bottom it says start minting VCU. Now the status says minted. And you can see all of the steps here, verified, minting, minted. If you click on token history, it should show 1629 tokens minted. All VCU tokens have been minted and the amount says 1629. If we view the trust chain, It should show us 1629 out of 1629 minted, the mint date, and if you scroll down, we can see all of the VC files and the steps that we have taken today. From creating the policy, to the project being created, to the project being validated, and the monitoring report being created, all the way up to being minted. So as you can see in the demo, we took you through the entire workflow where we created project proponent of VVB, had the project proponent create a project design document that included the baseline, the project emissions, the emission reductions, and all the tools. Then we submitted it to Vero to add to the project pipeline, created a new VVB account. Then they could either reject or approve. We approved it, and so then the project proponent would have to monitor the activities and support a uh, and submit a monitoring report. Once the monitoring report is submitted. VVV will also review it and bring it back to Vera, who will add it to the project registry. Vera reviews it, and then the VCUs are minted. Now on to developer thoughts. What did we learn and what kind of challenges did we face creating VM0003? Firstly, the difference between our first uh, methodology that we created to this one, we had to understand the workflow. The first one that we created, we had to understand what a methodology was, and what we were trying to accomplish. But this time we were able to understand the steps that we needed to follow. So creating the schema first and then making the integration into MGS. This was also our first time creating separate tools. Our first project that we did, we simply integrated it into the main policy, but this one we created two separate tools in order to integrate it into the policy. We also learned that we cannot account for every single strata and this was also the first time that we created JavaScript for calculations. Thank you for watching our presentation today. Feel free to reach out for us more. Again, I am Erica Nguyen with Focusia.